Hello and welcome to a new episode Do It Yourself Network. I want to exchange my existing AC1200 wireless network to the new multi amp one AX1800. So let's see how this works. multi m one is delivered in a tri-pack and includes in the main box a single pack and a double pack. You can combine these two boxes together. In each of these boxes you find a node with a power supply with a U-plug face, a wall mount and a LAN cable. Also a box with small plugs and screws for the wall mount. There's no physical difference between a master and a satellite node. This will be set in the installation of the device. Here is the plan. We want to install the master node in the living room where the fiber connection is coming to the home. Then we put another node on the first floor in the sleeping room and the second satellite we built in the extended building on the back side of the yard. Together we will have about 460 to 600 square meters of wireless coverage that means that also your outside building, like the garage or the garden, will be covered with internet and wireless. We are ready and want to install the first master node in the living room. So here we are in the living room and I want to install this device to the glass fiber connection from Deutsche Glasfaser coming here into the house. And it's also distributed with a famous German router that serves the telephone conversation. And then we want to use this device to distribute the AX1800 wireless through the house. For this you have to connect the internet uplink port and the power to the device. And then you have to boot it up. So here you can see the device is booting up and it's time to open the multi-installation app. You can download it from Google Play Store or Apple Store. Then you choose on the left hand side menu to add a new multi and create a new multi place a site with a site name. And then when the site name is entered, you create this location. We want to enter the multi M1 and it's a single node not combined with a internet access device. Then the application shows you to uh, get the device ready for booting. And as soon as the green light is stable green, you can scan the QR code from the bottom of the device and copy the SSID and password of the device into your phone. Then you connect to it and the application completes the installation. After the master node has been installed, it will automatically receive a firmware update, but you can also skip it as this takes time during the installation. Also, you can change the SSID and password of your wireless, which is also a good point to save time in the next installation process. So the multi m master has been installed and I'm going to install the second node now in the upper floor at the marked position. Just for your recap, we want to install the second device in the sleeping room and you need to make sure that your application is ready to add another multi device. So we are going to the second position where we want to install the satellite. It is already connected with the power supply and starts up booting. As soon as the LED is stable green, you can start the adding new multi in the application. The app will show you how to install it and you have to wait until the LED is green and then you push the sync button after you put the next step on the application. When you push the sync button, the LED turns purple and the device will get update from your master node, which is SSID, password and other settings. Also, it can receive a firmware. Make sure you have started this process in your app at the same time. So in this update process, the device makes everything on its own. The app does not show any update at this moment. 
but it's already time to go to the next position. I just show this in the video how the LED behaves. So at the end this green blinking will turn into stable green when the device is connected to your network and also in the good distance. If the distance is too far away from the multi master it will turn red. Next point is to install the second satellite in the extended back side of the building. In the meantime I show you how to change the SSID and security key for your wireless. You can change the 2.4 and 5 GHz SSID using the same or different names of both networks. And also you can change the key. If you tick the little blue bar you can have two different names for the wirelesses, but here we keep it as the same. After you apply this, you have to connect your phone with the new SSID and using the new key so that your phone has internet access again. And then you can start over to install the next node. Make sure to note down the new password for this SSID so that you can log on again to this network. So here is the second satellite, the third node to install and I also push the button to sync. And at this point I forgot that my phone has to be ready for adding this new node. As you can see it is busy doing a firmware update for a node. So that happens that this node will not be entered in the wireless network of your master node. And after a time the flashing from purple turns again back into green and you have to start over again. So I thought there was something wrong with the distance and I worked a little closer to the master node and started the process correctly using my phone adding the node and then pushed the sync button and within a few seconds the device was added to the network and start flashing green and then constant green so that it's working and then I put it back to the position where I want it. So now we are curious about the speed. With the internal wireless client of the notebook and the AC router from the internet provider we have a speed of 585 megabit per second of 866 and with the internal wireless client and the multi plus we receive 866 megabit per second and with the new WDS7605 uh, is AX1800. We also have 866 megabit per second with the normal router and the same speed with the Multi Plus. So the new client does not have a higher speed if you have AC1200 wireless. Using the new wireless client AX1800 with multi M1 delivers a speed of 1201 megabit per second. During the speed test on the phone I can see that the speed test with multi plus is much faster than with multi M1 and also the backbone capacity of multi plus is faster than multi M1. So if you compare here the node between the living room and the backbone to the other node is 642 megabit per second while on the same position it's only about 100 megabit per second but this should be explained because it's a Wi-Fi 6 system and if there is no load the capacity is low. We are at the end of our episode. I've installed the system with you and also made some speed tests. At the final I could say the system is worth the price that it's actually offered for about 200 euro in the Zyxel online shop and it's a fast installed system where you have a lot of extension to increase your wireless between 400 and 600 square meters among your home. So it's a very good opportunity to work flawless from your home office. If you're using the Multi M1 with an AX1800 client, at the beginning the speed was not so strongly different than with the AC1200 network, but at the end it turned out that uh, the device begins to speed up the connection as soon as you have multiple applications 
video streaming and for example the copy of files to the server active and the device starts using the multiple streams in the network to speed up this connection. So it's basically seen that the Wi-Fi 6 access point has a strong advantage in speed difference against Wi-Fi 5 using this enormous speed in multiple streams. And then you can see that it's absolutely faster than a conventional wireless system. If you like the video, then please subscribe to the channel and leave a thumbs up. And you can also put your questions down in the question segment. Thank you very much and have a nice day. We're Zycel and we're your networking ally. Actually, the three pack of Multi M1 is available in the Zycel store from the Zycel website for a very low price. Make sure if you like this video to send a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss any of our new episodes.